सो हेलो एवरीबडी इट्स माई न्यू लेसन ऑन इकाइनोडोमैटा एंड इट्स पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्स ऑन एनिमल क्लासिफिकेशन एज ऑलवेज एज यू नो इट्स प्रजेंटेड बाई मी इफ्त खर खान सो एम्स रैंक टेंथ एम्स ट्वेंटी थर्टीन एंड यू कैन फॉलो मी एट अन अकेडमी फॉर मोर एट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट अन अकेडमी डॉट इन स्लैश यूजर स्लैश इफ्तार खान सो लेट्स गेट राइट टू इट इकाइनो द मैटा सो वॉट इज द नेम सिग्निफाई सो वेन वी स्लिप स्प्लिट इट डरमैटा डरमा ऑलवेज रेफर्स टू स्किन एंड इकाइनोज रेफर टू स्पाइन सो दीज आर स्पाइनी स्किन organisms so uh, they basically have uh, endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles and therefore the name echinodermata uh, they were first discovered by jacob klein this phyla is exclusively marine so one of the peculiar thing about it is it is that it's exclusively marine and they are benthic organisms that is the crawl on seabed uh so why uh, are they considered the closest to the chordates first of all they are the first phyla to have deuterostomic development that is the uh, the first uh, opening or in the embryo is converted to anus uh and the other opening the next opening is the mouth which comes later so deuteros is uh second deutero means second and stoma means mouth so mouth comes second the blastopore converts to anus they have uh, enterocere that is uh, till uh, the previous phyla the coelom if it was a true coelom it used to be cyzocelom while in this case it's enterocere and the third thing is that they have a endoskeleton which is, which is mesodermal in origin which is similar to the chordates which have an endoskeleton which is secreted by mesodermally originated cells like the osteoblast osteocytes and the osteoclast so that's why they are the closest to the chordates so uh, they have a organ system uh, level of organization and they are triploblastic Well, the symmetry is very important that uh, the larvae are bilaterally symmetrical and they are free swimming while uh, the adult has radial symmetry or pentamerous symmetry to be more precise the syphilization is present as such and uh, segmentation is absent then we come down to the nutrition they are holotrophic the heterotrophic and they have a complete elementary canal which consists of a mouth and an anus the intestine has five branches and they have extracellular digestion because they have five arms i have a pentamerous symmetry they have the intestine has five branches they have aerobic respiration as we all know and the digestive system is complete with uh, the lower f- side the ventral side has the mouth and the upper side which is the dorsal side having the anus the most characteristic system or the most distinctive system of echinodermata is the presence of water vascular system which helps in locomotion by by the use of tube feet capture and transfer of food and also in respiration so it's a very very important feature water vascular system remember in case of porifera it was water so as i told you you need to distinguish water vascular system for the water canal system which was present in the case of poriferans so i'll show you just show you a picture of the water vascular system so this is how the water vascular system looks uh there is a ring canal in the center there is a stone canal or uh, stone canal is present and we have a madreporite 
which is present in the ventral surface then we have uh, ampulla is present and these are the tube feet which are very important uh, uh, which are very important as such because uh, they are necessary for the movement or the locomotion uh, the tube feet uh, also has a swollen part which is the ampulla and they also have an ambulacral canal this is the ambulacral canal these all these canals are the radial canals so this is basically a diagram of the water vascular system then uh, we come to the excretory system which is absent in this case and the sexes are separate uh, uh, sexual uh, reproduction is only present and the fertilization is external the development is indirect and they have free swimming larvae so the examples of this file are very important there are a lot of examples given in ncrt and i have put it right through you asterias which is the starfish echinus which is sea urchin antidon which is sea lily cucumaria which is sea cucumber and ophiura which is a brittle star so these are the ones you need to know uh, then uh, I'll show you this diagram given in NCRT. This is the Asterias, that, that is basically the starfish. Then we have Ophiura, that is the brittle star. So that's it for you guys from this lesson. Uh, stay tuned and keep watching. Bye bye.